problem solving using multiplication and division with two-step problems. Remember from our problem solving in Year 3, when the question involves equal groups and we want to find the total, we use multiplication to find the answer. When the question involves sharing or grouping something evenly, then we use division. A two-step problem has two parts that need solving. Let's look at an example. Three friends went fishing and they each caught five fish. How many fish altogether? This is a groups of question where we want to find a total, so we use multiplication to answer it. Our number sentence is three multiplied by five, which equals 15 fish altogether. Now for the next step. Say they took the fish home and shared them with two more friends. How many would they get each? This part of the problem is sharing a total, so we use division. So 15 shared between five is 15 divided by five, which as you can see from the diagram is three fish each. With two step problems, you break the question into two parts and then solve them. Take this next example. If I have six strawberry plants with four strawberries on each, how many all together? Again, we have equal groups and we want to find a total, so we use multiplication. Six groups of four is six multiplied by four, which equals 24. I could write four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four equals 24, but this is a much longer way to solve the question. We need to shift our thinking to multiplication strategies rather than addition, especially as the numbers get larger. Now for the second step. If I want to share the strawberries between three people, how many do they get each? This is sharing 24 equally between three, so we use division. 24 divided by three equals eight strawberries each. If we get stuck on a question, it can help to organise our thinking into groups to help us solve the problem. Here are 24 counters. When I group them into four equal groups, I can see there is a total of 24. So four multiplied by six is 24. I can also see when 24 is shared into four groups, there are six in each group. So 24 divided by four equals six. I then can also see if I share 24 into groups of six, it makes four groups. So 24 divided by six equals four. Array diagrams also help us to see the solution. This is four rows of six counters, or four multiplied by six, which equals 24. By looking at the rows, we can see 24 divided by four equals six in each row. If I now look at the columns, it shows 24 divided by 6 equals 4. With the array, the number sentence depends on the question. With this cupcake question, if my question is, I bake 3 batches of 10 cupcakes, how many altogether? My number sentence is 3 multiplied by 10, which equals 30. If I then put the cakes into boxes, with 6 in each box, my number sentence uses division. So 30 divided by six equals five boxes of cakes. Mathematical problems can be represented by pictures, words, and symbols. Understanding all of them is important for understanding how to form number sentences and solve problems.